Many of us might think of the holidays as a joyous time to spend with our families, but for many, the holidays can be a very difficult time, especially if we've lost one of our family members. Author Linda Drake, Reaching Through the Veil to Heal, helps people to deal with their grief and heal from their loss. Linda, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. As I said earlier in the show, we do think about, you know, those times that we spend with our families, but for those who have lost family members uh, recently or even years ago, it can still be very, very difficult. Of course. You know, that's what our relationships are about. They're based on love, and mm -hmm. when that loved one is taken from us, it's just so very difficult, and often we never recover from it. Why do you think it's especially important to talk about this during the holidays? Because holidays are about family and friends and the gathering of that, of those. So, you know, we just naturally expect them to be there for us mm -hmm. and miss them uh, intensely when they're not there. And when they're not there, what do we do? Well, it's important that we understand our grief. We understand the grieving process that we're going through. Mm -hmm. and how it's important that we reach out and help others that are going through this. So if you've lost a loved one, it's important that if it's been a recent loss that you change the holidays a little bit. Mm. You uh, change your traditions, go on a trip. You go to visit people that you love or friends. Um, but just, and maybe you do volunteer work during that time, mm -hmm. but something to take your mind off of it. Now, we don't expect you to forget it. Sure, okay. Because you can't forget that loved one, and it's important that you honor that loved one by grieving them, talking about them. Sit down with your photograph albums of old memories and uh -huh. go through them and, you know, share those moments with your, with the rest of your family or your friends. And, you know, let them, let your loved one continue, your loved one that's passed over, continue to be a part of your life. You talk about the many steps that people go through when going through the grieving process. Uh, walk us through some of those steps so that, uh, you know, if we're going through something like that or if we see somebody going through something like that, we can recognize those steps. Well, the first thing you have to understand when you are going through the grieving process is that you can very easily slip into a depression mm -hmm. and separate yourself from life. And so understanding this, uh, that, that right there helps you avoid it, helps you not slip into that separation process, helps you move through the state. There are stages of grief. People don't understand that, that there are, actually are stages of grief that we all go through when we lose a loved one or a relationship or a job. Um, we always begin this grieving process. You mentioned the different kinds of losses that people might be going through, whether it's a loved one, a, a job, those kinds, a home maybe even. Yes. Um, do we all go through, the, are all of the steps the same? Yes, they pretty much are. Uh, you know, we think, oh, oh, you only grieve when, you, when somebody dies. But no, that's mm -hmm. not the way it is. If you step back and look at what you're going through, the grief is very similar mm -hmm. to all of those losses. So understanding that is the first step, and that's why we wrote the book. Well, I was going to go into the book, actually. Tell us a little bit about the book and what made you want to write this. What can people really find in this book that will help them? Oh, the book is full of so much information. Um, I was called by Spirit to write the book to help people understand about the soul's journey to help them understand what their life is going to look like as they're approaching the doorway of death or if they're walking with a loved one to the doorway of death. What happens is they go through that experience of death, what happens when they cross over, and the circle of love that we are given. Mm -hmm. You're a spiritual medium, is that yes, correct? Yes, I am. Uh, and, and so what, with, that, with that being said, what can you offer people? What kind of information are you giving people that, you know, say myself couldn't give a, a loved one? Oh, it's the amazing information about how they are still with us. Mm -hmm. Once somebody dies, they do not leave us. Only their physical body is disconnected from us. Their mm -hmm. spirit and their love continues to be a part of our lives. And so they, they're there for the holidays. Mm -hmm. They're there for you every day if you need them. Their energy is there for you. All you have to do is call them in and ask them to be a part of your life. And within the book, you can... you. you you tell people how to do that? Yes, I talk to, you don't need a medium like me to uh -huh. talk to your loved one. Sure. It was your love that established the relationship with that person and or even your best friend. And so you have the ability to call them in just by asking for them, calling their name and sitting and talking with them. That's the most powerful part of healing the grieving process. And is that, is that, is that, I mean, is it faith that you're going that, that you're going with then at that point when you're when you're talking to your loved one who's passed on? Is it faith that you're talking to them and they're listening to you? 
it was always faith for me before I was given the opportunity to be able to communicate with those on the other side. It was faith. But now that I've had that opportunity, I talk to people's loved ones uh -huh. for them. So I see the messages that they're giving and they talk about all the signs they present for their loved one, letting them know that they're there. Uh -huh. And that's what we talk about in the book is how you can connect with your loved one. You have the ability to do this. Look for the signs. Look for the, the messages they give you in all different ways. Well, you have a pretty incredible story yourself. We have to take a quick break, but uh, more with Linda right after this. Stay with us.